What's going on guys? My name is Zach or the Wizard. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to clickety clack that subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. I think I may have found the best create a class combination for the SWAT 556 assault rifle and Black Ops 2. So let's jump right into it. First off, the SWAT is a three round burst. It's the 10th assault rifle that you unlock. So you get it pretty early in the game. And if you haven't tried it yet, I'd suggest using one of your prestige tokens on it, or or if you're a prestige master like myself, then definitely add it to your arsenal. It's a great weapon to add, and I think you'll fall in love with it just like I have after using this combination. So the first thing I want to look at are the perks we're going to be using. You're only going to need two, and you can switch it up whether you're playing core or hardcore. For the core playlist, which is like your regular game modes, um, you're going to want flak jacket and scavenger. Why flak jacket? Why not flak jacket? There's so much explosion spam in this game, every five seconds something's going off. Whether it be a hunter killer or a car or some C4, protect yourself before you wreck yourself. Always take the precaution of having flak jacket. It's a great addition. Scavenger's great for supplying your bouncing Betty, which will be your lethal, and supplying you with extra crossbow arrows, which will be your secondary weapon. Speaking of the crossbow, I like to throw on the ACOG sight. It gives you that nice long range advantage. But if you're feeling crazy, why not throw on the tribal, right? If you have it unlocked, use the tribal. It's fun. Um, it's great for game modes like headquarters. It's also great for like hardcore domination when people are bunched up capping a flag. You get that three arrow spread, you're likely to get at least a double kill. But moving on to the big boy of this video. The SWAT 556 herself, right now mine is at level 10 of its second prestige, so I'm almost at max. I do have a diamond, um, as I went on the diamond assault rifle streak a long while ago. You can find my own videos for that. <clears throat> but I'm going to say that you should use three attachments. That means you're going to have to use the wild card of primary gunfighter. That's why I don't have a perk 3 or a, any tacticals on this class. So, the three, tap, uh, three attachments you're going to want are Select Fire, which is great for when you get stuck in a close quarter combat situation. Because of the high damage of the SWAT, it's good with a three burst, but if you miss once, you're basically almost guaranteed to die if you're going up against a submachine gun, pistol, shotgun, or hell, even an assault shield could get you, especially if you're playing hardcore. Um, but... The third attachment I'd recommend with the SWAT for the core playlist would be the fast mag attachment. You don't really need extended mags, you get plenty of ammo to go, and that's also why you have scavenger to resupply your, your primary ammo. But fast mag, again, when you're in a close quarter combat situation, the combination of fast mag <clears throat> and select fire is great to have. If you're on the three burst default mode and you run into a small room and there's one or two people, quickly flip the switch, go to full auto, Spray them down, do a quick reload, finish off the job, and you'll survive and be safe. I was watching this back, and I realized I forgot to say one thing. The second attachment is the ACOG sight. It's really helpful on the on the SWAT, especially when you're using a really nice reticle like the Cyborg reticle. Uh, that came with the Cyborg personalization pack from the latest addition to the game. Uh, but ACOG sight, it's great for looking down the long lines of sight in the game, and it can be really beneficial to improve your accuracy. Now, when you're playing hardcore, there are two changes to this class I'd suggest you make. Change your attachment from fast mag to suppressor for that sneaky, uh, stealthy advantage. And then, we're going to switch perk 1 from flak jacket to lightweight. Because in hardcore, you're going to die from any explosion, regardless of your protection. Um, so, it's better to be safe than sorry or you can't really be safe in hardcore, you're going to die, like I said. So just be fast and run away from any danger with lightweight. It's also good because the SWAT, we're not using the stock, so you do kind of go slow, and lightweight kind of counters that. So these are my creative class combinations for core and hardcore. You can see them on the screen right now. Try them out for yourself. Tell me how they work for you in the comments below. If you have any changes to this, again, tell me in the comments. Remember to like this video, share it with your friends, add it to your favorites for later, and until next time, Wizard out.